Alrighty guys, what is up? This is Paul again for Replica Gun Reviews and today I have with me an awesome gun, the Umarex Beretta M9A3. This is a full auto and semi-auto BB gun. Um, so you have full auto capability and semi-auto as you can see specified by the dots here. So you have uh, semi-auto and then full auto. I'm not the biggest fan of full auto BB guns but that's just my own personal taste. Um, but this thing is a really awesome gun. Uh, it's just really solidly built. It's a lot of polymer. There is some metal in it. The whole frame is polymer. The slide here is polymer. Uh, the barrel is metal. Um, and as you can see, it is threaded. Let me just see if I can focus a little better for you. There you go. So it does have 14 millimeter backwards thread, so you could put a silencer on that thing. Uh, let me show you around this thing a little bit before I get into some specs. So as you can see, it says Beretta USA Corp. Uh, I'm not sure what ACKKMD means. So if anybody knows what that means, definitely comment. Um, you got your serial number, the caliber. Um, the, I forget what that's called, but I know what it means. Um, you got the PB stamp there. Um, right here is your takedown switch, so you can take the slide off. You just press this in, pull this down as usual, and the slide comes right off. Um, this is your slide catch, so you can, this is a safety first of all, the slide won't go back with the safety on, so if you just push that up, you'll see red, that means you're in fire, so red means fire, you just pull it down again, and you're in safe, you can pull the trigger, but nothing will happen in safety, if you push it up, you're in fire, now you can pull the trigger, and as you can see, you can fire, um, so as I was saying though, this is the slide catch right here, so if you just pull the slide back, the slide will catch. I'm on E right now, so there's no rounds in this, no CO2, so it will catch. The blowback goes back quite a bit. Bit. Let me just focus better. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to focus today, guys. Sorry. There you go. Um, but it goes back quite a bit. And as you can see, this thing is just really well made. I love the way it's made. It's just so solidly built and colored. I love that flat, dark earth color. Um, which is true to the M9A3. Um, it has the authentic color scheme, supposedly. Um, it's just a really awesome gun. I love this thing. Um, this is your mag release right here. So if you just press that in. By the way, this on the other side is also the mag release. So if you push the mag release in, you can just see that pushing out. Um, in case anyone was wondering what that is. Um, so if you just press this down, you have an 18 round drop free mag, which is also colored flat dark earth, which is really nice. Um, I think that's focused well enough. And then you have your spring here. You just pull that down. It does lock. Oh no, it does not lock in, unfortunately. So it's one of those I had to get a bowl for my BBs so that you could put them in. But as you can see, if you just pull this down, you have your BB loading port right there, that little circle. So you just pour your BBs in there, and they fall down, all 18 shots, which I'll show you how to do later on. This gun came in a really nice box. Um, if you haven't watched my unboxing video, I'll link that in the description, but this is the box it came in. Um, it's really nice. No padding inside, unfortunately, but it's still nice to have a box um, that it comfortably fits in. Um, so you can get all your specs on there. Um, so, speaking of specs, let me get into that a little bit more as I show you around the gun. Um, so, as I said, it's blowback. It has a lot of polymer on it. Um, it does weigh a little bit, though. It weighs 2.4 pounds, so it has some weight to it. It's not a light gun. Um, it certainly has some metal in it. Um, I don't know why, guys, but I could not find the overall length of this thing. I did not take out my measuring tape and measure it. Um, Maybe I'll do that and just put a rough measurement into the video for you guys. But if anybody knows the actual measurements to this thing, let me know because I couldn't find it anywhere. Um, so pardon me for that, guys. I can't give you an overall length. Uh, but it does have a max muzzle velocity of 350 feet per second. As I said, it has an 18-round drop-free mag. It takes one 12-gram CO2 cartridge, so you just unscrew right here get your allen key so you just unscrew this is the allen key i mean the uh, piercing screw right here comes right out then you get yourself one 12 gram co2 cartridge like that um 
This one's made by EMG Arms. You can just pop it in when you're ready to fire. And then you just screw that back on. I'll show you how to do that in a sec. Let me just take, actually I'll just leave that off for now. I'm going to take it off anyway. Um, as you can see the mag goes in really easily. It falls out really easily too because the magazine is quite heavy in itself. So it just pops right out. Um, when you blow it back, as I said, it has like a, you can certainly see right through it, as you can see, uh, which is cool. I like that full blowback. Um, gives it a nicer touch. Um, and the magazine slides back in flawlessly. Um, and that's it. Yeah, so uh, that's the safety there. Uh, let me see if there's any other specs. Oh, yeah, the safety, by the way, is ambidextrous. Um, so if you're a righty or a lefty, you can use it. So right now on my right hand, I can use it. Or if you're a lefty. You can also easily use it. It's very easy, even for me, and I rarely use my left hand for anything. Um, but it's quite simple. Um, not bad at all. I don't know why, but I don't mind it. Um, as you can see, this part right here, I don't think it has any function at all, um, except for a show. For some reason, it shows where it doesn't in other guns. But as you can see, when you pull the trigger, you can see that mechanism moving. Um, now, I would imagine in most guns that's on the inside and it's not showing. So I'm not sure why that's on the outside and why it is showing. If anybody knows, again, comment below. Um, I have no idea why they would put that on the outside. But uh, if there is a reason for that, definitely let me know. That might be really a cool uh, feature and I'm just missing it. Um, I have no idea. Um, as you can see, it stands out. I was just noticing it myself as I was pulling the trigger, but right here it just says, uh, let me see if I can focus better. Sorry guys. It's just very sunny out and the camera won't focus well for some reason when it's super sunny and I have my lights on too. Um, but it says mod 9A3 caliber. Oh, let me just stop shaking so much because I'm trying to stand up a little. Um, it says mod 9A3 caliber 4.5 millimeter 0.177 warning not a toy okay it's just a normal warning and then right here it says warning read manual before use Beretta trademarks licensed by Beretta Italy so it is officially licensed by Beretta by the way there is some weaver rail down here so you can attach a light or a flashlight you know laser or whatever you want down there um so yeah, that's it for specs other than uh, it does have a smooth bore barrel since it only shoots BBs. Um, it doesn't shoot pellets. Um, I, to I told you it has a threaded muzzle. Now, um, as for where you can get this gun, you can get it on Amazon. It's $170.83. That's the most expensive place to get it right now, which is where I got mine. I only did it because it's quick. I have Amazon Prime, so I just figured, screw it. I'd rather have it now than in two weeks. Um, you can also get it on umarexusa.com for $129.99. So that's $50 cheaper. So that's pretty good. Um, that's probably before tax and all that. Um, or, as usual, the cheapest place to always get your gun is pyramidair.com. And it's $124.95. Now, I am not sponsored by Pyramid Air. Uh, I personally always go to Amazon first if I can because I have a Prime account and it's just quicker. Um, so, I like to get things expedited a bit. Um, so, I rarely go through the actual uh, sites like umarex.com or Pyramid Air. So, um, I use their sites for specifications because pyramidair.com, by the way, guys, if you want specifications about any gun, any pistol, any rifle, any BB gun, period, go to pyramidair.com. I'll put the link in the video and in the description. Uh, just type in the gun you're looking for. I'm sure a picture of it will pop up. And then you can just go under the specifications tab and you can find all the info you would need about that gun. So, uh, yeah, big ups to pyramidair.com. They're a cool website. Um... Maybe one day they'll sponsor me. Who knows? Um, but anyways, guys. Uh, 
So yeah, uh, it is double action. Um, by the way, it is semi-automatic and fully automatic. So as you can see, it has one dot specifying that it's semi-automatic, and then you have the three dots specifying that it's fully automatic. Now, I don't know if you can see it. It's quite small. Right there is a little lever. You just flip that up, and now you're in full auto. Now, if you fire, it'll fire full auto. If you pull it back down, you're in semi-auto again. So, just keep in mind as to whether that is up or down because if you don't intend to shoot in full auto make sure that is not up because you will um definitely don't put it in the middle i'm not sure what will happen if you keep it in the middle um i'm pretty sure it'll stay semi-auto until fully auto is engaged by pulling it all the way up because you can hear a click whenever it hits either spot um so just make sure it's always down unless you intend to shoot fully auto um, also, the safety is not your average safety. They don't all normally look like this. So definitely keep in mind, again, that the safety is also on. Um, so make sure that's down. The safety, uh, the safety selector being down means you're unsafe. So you can't pull the trigger. If it's up, you can pull the trigger. So be aware of that. Um, and that's it. That's all for the specs for this gun. Uh, the sights are fixed. The rear is it the rear sight no the front sight is removable you can remove the front sight but it's not adjustable in any way they are fixed um so yeah so i'm just going to show you how to load bbs into this thing now so uh and co2 so let me just take the magazine out um let me just pull i have my bowl of bbs here i'll show you how to load a few and then uh i will cut and i will come back when i'm almost done and then we'll load some co2 so you just pull the spring back like that, um, hold it upside down the magazine, and then start loading them right into the BB port right there. So like this one, and you can see it fall down. That one fell right to the tip. Two, three, four, five, six. See them all falling? Seven. One eternity later. Alrighty guys, so this is 18 now. So that's 18 now in. So now I have a full clip, full magazine. So I'm going to put the rest of these away. Now to load CO2, what you do is you take your CO2 capsule. Again, I have one from EMG Arm. Always lubricate your CO2 capsules. Make sure the seals on your uh, guns are nice and lubricated all the time. Um, I have a bag of different lubrications here, which just failed on me ultimately, so I just need to get a new bag now. But anyways, um, I use Pelgun oil. Pelgun oil always worked for me. I'll put a link in the description for it, but there are other oils out there. This is very cheap, uh, but it does work for me. I've never had an issue with it. So um, anyways, you just take your Pelgun oil. Again, you unscrew your piercing screw first so that your CO2 capsule can go in. Take your Pelgun oil. Make sure I do it on camera. You just put one drop. Just one drop is all you need. Like that. And then you simply just put the CO2 capsule in. And then you start to screw this back on. Now, if this takes me forever to get this lined up, I'll cut. Because sometimes it does. It's a pain to get this top back in sometimes. Um, so I might cut uh, if I can't get it back in correctly. Like right now. Or did I? Sometimes, sometimes it feels like it's going in correctly. Beware guys. Um, I've had a gun like this before. With an exact uh, CO2 piercing screw like this. And it felt like it was going in correctly, but it was actually stripping. It wasn't on its, uh, I don't know what you call it. It wasn't going in correctly, but it felt like it was. And it was impossible to unscrew it. I had to throw the magazine away. Um, so it was a waste. So definitely make sure that you can unscrew it again as well before you pierce the CO2. Because you don't want to get it stuck. Um, so once you get it in right though, 
uh, just pierce to you feel like the CO2 is gonna pierce or screw to you feel like the CO2 is gonna pierce so that you can get a better grip and a good turn and then you turn it and pierce it so you didn't hear any CO2 loss um, now I have a fresh magazine fresh CO2 cartridge all 18 shots uh, make sure your gun is on safe again uh, which it is so if you see that red you're not on safe definitely put it down uh, watch a video of mine where I got a BB taken out of my finger right here I'll link that in the description so you see what happens if you don't do that um, accidents do happen um, but anyways make sure you're on safe um, then you take your magazine BB's facing the muzzle and you put your magazine back in and that's it when you're ready to fire you take it off safe cock it so you can see the hammers back Put it on safe till now for until I'm ready to shoot and you're ready to go. Um, and that's it, guys. That's the Umarex Beretta M9A3. This thing is really awesome. I could not pass it up. I'd say pick this up while you can. It's definitely a steal. I have a ton of ton more Berettas I gotta get. I just discovered recently a lot more, so I definitely want to pick those up. So. Anyways, guys, I'm going to clean up here, go set up for some accuracy testing, and I will give you some side profile of me shooting this thing and put some in slow-mo so you can see that blowback action uh, working. And uh, I will see you later. Peace. Alrighty, guys, so this is uh, a fresh mag, and I'm going to shoot from this distance, and again, I'm going to get closer and closer so you can see better. So. Alright, here we go, guys, with the first mag. That's it. That's all 18. Empty magazine. Alright, let me reload guys and I'll be right back. Alright guys, so here I am a little bit closer. Um hold on one sec, let me just turn that light on there. So I'm a little bit closer now and then I will load up another magazine after this and try to get as close as possible. That's it. All 18 done. So let me reload and I'll be right back with you. Alright guys, so I got another mag loaded. Um, this is as close as I can get right here. So uh, let's see here. Let me go off with the first shot. That's it. It's all 18. So, all right, guys. So here we go with some accuracy testing. I got the first card up, and I got. I actually have 17 shots in. I just fired one um into the trap. So I'm gonna go with the first 17 shots. Then I'm gonna tack up another card and empty another magazine in. 
So I'm gonna back up about seven feet and see what I can do. All right, guys, here we go, the first shot. Oh, wow, that was way off. All right, hold on. All right, getting closer. Closer. Ah, dead on, almost. All right, so I have to aim a little bit. I'm aiming perfectly at the circle. I have to aim a little bit above that. That's it. That's all 17. I got a lot of shots. We're going into the same spots over and over again. Um, I didn't do so bad. Let me unpack that and show you guys. Look at that. That's not so bad. Oh, I don't know what the hell happened down here or here, but hey, I did great over here, so I'm happy. And you can see uh, I'll you'll see in the footage that multiple shots went through the same holes a couple times um so yeah i'm happy with that so let me tack up another one and reload and i'll be right back with you alrighty guys so i'm back with a fresh mag so i'm gonna back up another seven feet again and see what i could do see if i could do better this time alright guys here we go alright almost Perfect. Ooh, I don't know what happened there. Uh, I still have rounds left, but the uh, slide caught. Let me see what happens. I might be running low on CO2. Let me see, caught again. Alright, this time I actually am out. I don't know what happened there. After my fourth shot, I might be running low on CO2, but the slide went back and caught like that. So I had to release the slide and, and uh, start shooting again. But it sounds like I'm low on CO2, but uh, I still did a pretty good job. Uh, as you can see, I tore up right here. Sorry for shaking that. Uh, I was, I guess, I was aiming up here and then even a little higher, like at the five, and I was tearing up down here. So this shot and this shot I did just to make sure I was still firing um, after the slide caught after the fourth or fifth shot, just to make sure uh, nothing was jammed. Uh, but yeah, guys, that's it for the accuracy testing, and I will see you at the end of the video. Alrighty guys, so that was the review for the Beretta M9A3. Let me know what you think in the comments. I personally think this is a really awesome gun. Um, I couldn't pass it up. I don't think you guys should either. Beretta did a really good job. Um, you can get this again through umarex.com or on Amazon or on Pyramid Air. Plus you have sites like eVike. Um, you have Air Gun Depot as well sells it. So... Um, I'll put links to everything in the description, as I said, um, but definitely give this a look um, over if you can. Uh, go on Amazon, go on these websites, look at the specs, check this thing out because it's definitely worth it. I think it's cool as hell. It's a really awesome gun. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Um, so anyway, I hope you enjoyed my review on it, and until the next one, as usual, peace.